Yo, what's happening guys? Welcome to your ninth Bootstrap 4 tutorial and in this video I want to talk about a new Bootstrap 4 component called Cards. So if you're familiar with Bootstrap 3 you'll probably remember something called a panel which was a small box container for content on your page and they look something like this thing right here. Here's some examples of panels on the Bootstrap 3 documentation. So they're just little boxes with titles, content, and we can customize the colors, etc. So they were quite flexible, but in Bootstrap 4, panels are being replaced by a more flexible content container called cards. So before I start coding anything, I just want to show you some examples of these cards on the Bootstrap 4 documentation. So I've gone to components and then card, and if I scroll down here, this is kind of like the basic card, if you like, where we have an image a title, some text, a button, we've got this border, etc. But we can customize it to do what we want. So we can have these kind of things going on, like a list. Um, we can have cards without images, or we can have cards with navigations in them, like so, like this. Or we can have images at the top or images at the bottom. So there's a lot of different customization options that we can apply to these cards. And we're gonna go through an example in this tutorial. So let's head over to the code. And the first thing I want to show you is this image folder. I've added this in, and this is four images in it, Mongo, Node, React, and Webpack. You can get these from my repo in the Lesson 9 branch, so I'll leave the link down below to that repo. Uh, so what I'm going to do is create on our design right here some cards, four cards, one, two, three, four, going across in a grid system. We've already seen grids, and each card is going to have one of these images in it. It's going to have some text, a title, etc. Okay, so I'm going to show you how to make these cards. So I said we were going to do them in a grid. Now, what's the first thing we need to do if we use a grid? We need to do a container to put that grid in. So let me come down here and create a div with a class equal to container. Like so. All right, so what's the next thing we need to do for making a grid? We need to make a row. So I'll come here and in fact first I'm just going to do a little comment that says cards like that so we know where we're up to and then a div with a class equal to a row. So this is our row of content and remember within each row we can have as many elements as we want each taking up a specified number of columns. Okay. So what I'm going to do is four elements. And then for medium sized screens, I want each of these elements to take up six columns in width. So medium sized screens and upwards, six columns in width. Then for large sized screens and upwards, I want each um, element to take up just three columns in width when there's more space on the screen. So how do we do that? Well, let's create just one div to begin with. So we'll say div class equals, and then we'll say call MD. So medium sized screens and upwards, six columns in width then call LG for large size screens and upwards three columns in width all right so now there's our kind of surrounding column class if you like inside here we want to place a card now the first thing we need to do is create that element for the card I'm going to do a div again with a class equal to card like so and then we can place all of our card content inside here and if we wanted, we could just place some content directly inside here. So I'll just uh, show you this, save it, and let's have a look at a browser. That looks pretty cruddy, so I'm not going to do that. I want it to pick up the different card styles, etc. I want some padding around this. So instead, what we're going to do is take that off, and we're going to create a div with a class equal to card hyphen block. So all of our card content now can go inside this block. And what this does is give it some extra padding around the card itself, okay? So now if I create a P tag, and let's grab some lorem ipsum from this ninja ipsum place right here. So just a little bit, that'll do. And if we go back now, paste this in and save it, you're gonna notice now we have some padding around that, which looks a lot nicer. Cool, so there's some text. Now what if we want to add a heading? Well, we can do that. I'm going to add a h3, and I'm going to give this a class equal to card title. And inside here, I'm going to say node.js training. All right, save that. Check this out, okay, looking nice. Now I want to add in an image. Now we can add an image at the top or the bottom. 
Now check this out. If I add an image in here, what's going to happen? Well, let's find out. I'll do an image tag and say source equals, and then I'm going to use one of these things right here, the node one. So it's forward slash img, forward slash node.png. Close that off. Check this out in a browser. And first of all, it goes off the card. Okay, we can sort that out in a minute. Secondly, it's got this padding around it. Now I don't want that. I want the image to be flush up against the card itself. So ideally we need to take the image outside of the card block. Okay, we don't want it inside the card block because the card block provides us with the padding. Now we can put it at the top here or at the bottom down here underneath the content. I want to put it at the top, so I'm going to paste it in there. And because it's in the top, I'm going to give this a class equal to card hyphen img top. That's where it's going, right? So if I save this now, check it out in a browser. Okay, cool. One more thing. This is kind of stretched up and down. Now, I don't want that. I want it to look more natural. So to make the image 100% width of the card and then auto height, what we need to say right here in this class list is img hyphen fluid. And that's going to do that for us. So if I save it and check it out now in a browser, that is looking better. Awesome. So there's our first card. So now all I want to do is copy this dude right here and paste it in three more times. So we've got four cards in total. And then I'm going to replace the image itself with different things. So the bottom one here we'll call Webpack. Then this one we'll call React. These are all corresponding to these images right here. This one right here we will call what is left Mongo. Save that. Check this out in a browser. And that is looking a lot better now. One more thing I want to do right here is use a utility class. We saw that in a lesson or two ago to kind of mute this text. It's a little too dark for my liking. So we can do that by using one class and I'm going to use it on this surrounding container right here. And the class is called text hyphen muted. And watch what happens, right? So this is how it looks right now. If I save it, check this. Now it's a lot lighter, less kind of in your face if you like. So there we go, guys. That is how we create cards. And if we make this screen smaller, you can see they're going to go on two lines eventually, like so. And that's because of this thing right here where we say call MD. We want them to take up six columns in width. If we go even smaller to the smallest kind of devices, they're going to stack on top of each other. So it's all nice and responsive as well. So there we go. That is cards in a nutshell. And there are more things we can do with cards, but it's all quite self-explanatory if you check out this documentation right here. Again, I'm going to leave the link down below so you can take a look at that in your own time.